Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Ben Philippi. I recently had the pleasure of photographing Gene Hoffman in San Francisco, California. He is the co-founder and chairman of CalGuns Foundation. CalGuns Foundation has been responsible for defending many innocent Californians accused of violating California's incredibly complex weapons laws. In fact, in 2009, CalGuns Foundation was awarded the Grassroots Organization of the Year, which is huge. I got a great shot at Gene holding his AR-15 and if you own an AR-15 in California, you can thank Gene partially for it. Afterwards, I sat down with Gene and I asked him about what's been going on with himself, CalGuns Foundation, and what we can expect in the future. Check it out. So at the CalGuns Foundation, we have kind of three major litigation sectors or fields we're focused on right now. One is the 10-day waiting period. Uh, California makes all handgun buyers or long-arm buyers wait 10 days before they take possession of another firearm. And we're challenging that as it's applied to people who already own guns, because we have registration here in California, or people who have licenses to carry or licenses to collect, because of course the state knows you have a firearm. That really changes the discussion about whether people need cooling off periods, and we think that's unconstitutional. The other major issue here is uh, the handgun roster and micro stamping. Uh, California has a continuously more onerous uh, safe handgun roster. Uh, when it originally was just about whether a handgun would go off what was dropped, you know, it's, an, an, it's questionable whether it was constitutional. Now, uh, basically all the major manufacturers are saying that no new semi-automatic handguns will be put on the California handgun roster. We're challenging that in federal court and expect a decision on that very shortly. But I think the major focus that we're still uh, working on is the uh, right to carry. Uh, we were one of the first ent entities to sue about the right to carry in the United States. Uh, that case and a copycat case have been won at the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, and we're waiting for the en banc court to decide whether they're going to take that or not. Uh, but around that is what we call the Compliance and, uh, and Sunshine Initiative. Uh, we're going around to the 58 sheriffs and making sure that they follow California law. So we sued and won against the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department for not taking people who lived in local towns as permits. Um, we're, at, we're challenging people who are delaying or trying to deny by delay people's uh, licenses applications. All of these issues are going to be very real as we try to implement the Peruta and the Richards decisions here in California. And we think that's one of the most important decisions, the actual ability to carry a firearm outside your home, uh, you know, licensed, trained, extremely critical for the California gun owner and for citizens of the United States. My name is Ben Philippi and I'm traveling around America right now photographing prolific and notable gun owners and also just regular gun owners such as myself to make a book that highlights the fact that we the people as gun owners are respectable, educated, intelligent, successful entrepreneurs, we're doctors, lawyers, dentists and beyond and all we want is to practice our God-given right and constitutional right to keep and bear arms. You can follow me, it's free, just go on my book's Facebook page, We The People Book. You can follow me, I'm posting stuff on a daily basis, I guarantee you'll love it. Thank you very much, and God bless.